dead again. Cold, pale flesh, a feast for maggots. But the maggots have to wait. I'm not finished with you. Not yet. You failed. I triumphed. A new cycle begins. Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Let's Try Fade to Silence. This is a, I guess, a wilderness survival base building. It, it, so many different kind of things blended into one game over here. But basically, the world is terrible. Go everything is awful. And, and someone keeps talking in I our brain. Know this. When the last flame goes out, there's no more resistance. So just as our inner voice said here, the flames here, this marks, marks a resurrection area. Whenever we die, we will resurrect over here. But every time we do, one of these flames goes out. We start with that one flame that you just saw in that opening cutscene gets blown out over here. This is a brand new game. But that's how many lives we have. And when all those lives are used up, the game is actually just over. GG. So there's a real sense of seriousness about this thing. Um, if we go and check our inventory, yeah, it'll also say our lives left over there. We're going to talk more about this at first, but for now, let's just go ahead and follow the prompts. Grab your weapons, the camp is under attack. Well, I don't have any weapons around over here. Nice shadow there. It is the Unreal Engine, so things are pretty slick. Good lighting, nice textures, bump mapping, all that kind of jazz. We've got our inner voice here is going to speak to us a little bit more. Destroy. No one remains. You are alone. So the sense I get here is that in our previous life, we'd probably tried to build some sort of camp, some sort of refuge over here. And unfortunately, it has been destroyed before we started playing the game. So on our previous life is it's the sense that I've got. I don't know if that's entirely true, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. We're going to hop down here and we will get uh, the inner voice to talk to us one more time. Now, I hate calling him just inner voice. It's like, it's too spooky. The game's already pretty goddamn freaky, if you look at that. Uh, I like to think of this guy as Jimmy. Everything's a little friendlier when you just think of it as Jimmy talking to you. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this torch over here. And we're gonna start fighting. Did he just leap at me? You punk. We're gonna go ahead and just beat him with a torch as much as possible. Um, try to block here. Excellent. Perfect block. I'm terrible at these types of fighting games. Really awful. But I was able to do that. Not quite flawlessly. I did take a little bit of damage. But I did kill that guy, so thank goodness. Oh, and then he exploded. Good thing I was far enough away. So I gotta get to this crystal over here and try to purify it while also trying to dodge these little goober bombs all, all over the ground. So we're gonna do that. Now, for me to cleanse it, I actually have to take in the corruption within myself. That bar at the bottom, that's my current hit points, and that red part, that's my maximum hit points going down as I absorb the corruption within me. Top left corner of the screen, well, when it comes back in a second, you'll actually see that my maximum hit points has dropped by soaking in this corruption. But we do get a really cool effect here that this cleansed crystal pushes back the corruption and gives us a little bit of breathing room. Hey, uh, this is Quilly Teen from the future interrupting Quilly Teen from the past because I forgot to mention something super important. I have a bunch of Steam keys for Fade to Silence to give away. So this Saturday, December the 23rd, this is 2017 if you're watching this in the future, December 23rd, um, during my live stream, which happens at twitch.tv slash quill18, I will be giving away some codes to Fade to Silence. Not only that, but the first three codes we give away, your name will make it into the credits 
for the game as a special thanks from the developers, you know, just for sort of early access uh, support and enthusiasm for Fade to Silence. So, uh, Saturday, December 23rd, twitch.tv slash quill18. We always start at 12 noon Eastern time and probably we'll give it away relatively early in the stream, maybe by 12.30 or something. So make sure you get there for the beginning of the stream. We'll do the draw. We've got a bunch of codes to give away. You will get your name into the game. Uh, and I think that was everything. Sorry, I forgot. Back to the video. And here we go. Here's here's the main goal for this game. We have to survive by finding food and firewood because it is freezing. Blizzards are a common uh, occurrence out here and it can kill you surprisingly fast. Frostbite is another thing actually that lowers your maximum hit points. Running out of food and becoming hungry lowers your maximum hit point and that can take days for it to come back to the full. We can find people to recruit out here in the world. They can follow you and help you fight. You can also assign them to various tasks in your stronghold once you get that built up. And then we also have to cleanse the land from corrupted strongholds, which will also let us conquer new territory. So for now, we're in this area over here. I guess it's pretty dark. Uh, well, we'll talk more about that thing in a little bit. And so Jimmy's gonna tell us a little bit more things. Oh, I like the snow. Or just lie down in your grave, waiting peacefully for your inevitable end. Thanks, Jimmy. So back over here, we do have a little initial shelter, which is great. In the top right corner of the screen, you can see the temperature. Uh, I've got the option set to shush you. How dare you defy me? Man, Jimmy is mouthy. So in the top right corner of the screen, you can see the current uh, temperature. I've got it set to degrees Celsius. So if I'm out here, this is like how cold it feels to me. So right now it's not too bad because it's the weather's not too shabby. I'm, I'm bundled up. So uh, it's zero degrees. So the cold will still get there, but it won't be as bad as it could be. As I get closer to fire, I feel a little warmer. And over here now, like I'm actually, this would be pretty toasty at 30 degrees, but we're all right. We've got a refuge stash over here, which is currently empty. But if I send people out, if I recruit some people, and send them out on mission to like do some lumbering and whatnot. They can fill up that stash. I don't think anything else in here is interactable with. We get some stairs up here. We can go and take a little look-see up top. I just realized I think I have V-Sync turned off and I hope that's not gonna lead to any screen tearing. I'm thinking it might be. I have no idea if this is gonna break the recording. It feels like V-Sync is turned off though. Uh, I don't see it. I might just have to change something in my um, Oh, by the way, yeah, you can uh, turn off the inner voice if you want. Um, I don't see it, so it might be something I have to turn off my NVIDIA settings. My bad about that. I hope it's not a problem. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. We get a nice little view up here, and one of the cool things you can do in here is you can actually engage something I think they call the Eclipse Vision, um, which... And signs. Reflections of your deranged mind. Ignore them. I mean, if, if Jimmy tells us to ignore something, it means we shouldn't. You can see there's some glowing bits over there, and they actually, the glowing persists even when I leave that vision. That marks um, things that are of value. This blue pillar here marked the fact that there's a shelter here, makes it a little easier to find. And uh, yeah, so you can see there, highlights a few things for you, which is great, because navigating this world is pretty wonky. So we're going to leave our refuge here. Now this area, well, that's, I guess, my personal camp. That's my apartment. This area here is actually where you build your refuge. We can actually go and construct a large variety of buildings. Huts, medicine huts, crafting shacks, sledding kennel for when you domesticate wolves and then you get a sled team, like dog sled team, which is amazing. You've got the fences you can build, uh, occult laboratory. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we've got other types of add-ons that we can develop over time. So there's a lot of stuff that you can build here, but right now we have no supplies and no inventory. So we're gonna go towards some of those glowing bits and just scrounge about if we can, and hopefully not run into too many opponents. Running does use up your stamina, which is bad if you're about to get into a fight, because swinging a weapon is really bad for your stamina, but we'll do what we can. The snow here, the thick snow can slow you down if it's particularly thick and heavy. Uh, we've got an enemy over there. That marker is letting us know that that's actually a supply place. We can um, set some people there to go lumbering. I could go and fight him, but because that's a spitter. These guys are pretty easy to take out, but I don't really see the point in challenging him. There's nothing much over there. We'll come to this territory here. 
My horde is walking in your footsteps. Right behind. I think we're fine, but it does remind us that we can sneak with the, uh, the control key. And those orange bits over there, those are enemy spots that we might want to go and challenge. I was going to say, oh, that's right. This stuff here is underneath this big uh, snow drift. Ice and snow drift over here. So we're just going to try to loot a few things because we're going to start crafting real soon. But I love the atmosphere here. It feels frigid. It basically feels like outside of my front door right now, as someone who lives in Northern Ontario in Canada, I, I feel like I'm a little too familiar with this stuff. So we're grabbing some Blight Bane, some Blood Haw, I guess like like a Hawthorn Berry, a Hawberry type thing. And we can do a little bit of crafting. I don't think we can craft anything quite yet. No, not construct, my bad. I want inventory over here, so that's my loot, and if we go to the crafting tab, I can tear apart the uh, grub root into fiber, which is good, because we need the fiber to be able to make ourselves a bow or some clothing, but we don't have enough right now to do it, so that's fine. Um, there are some good areas over here, but I think what we're going to do is just kind of keep running around. Oh, we're in a hunting area. There might be deer here. We can also assign people so to this area. Once, once we get some refugees, we can assign them to hunt for us, which is really nice. Search for material needed to craft a bow so that we can hunt some of the deer. Well, we'll work on it. There is a hut over there we're going to go towards. I like it. When you're going through the deep snow, I don't know if any of this is deep enough. It does really slow you down, especially if there's been a blizzard. But there's got to be some goods over there. Oh, we got some more lootables over here. We got a little bridge. Now, I've only played for about an hour or so before starting to record this. Just enough to get a basic sense of the controls and a slight lay of the land. But it doesn't mean I really, truly know. Luckily, I did discover that there's a map over here. So we can pan around. We can put markings and say, like, oh, let's... Oh, there's a shelter over here. This blue dot, that's a shelter. I can put a pin on the map to make it a little easier for me to follow. I mean, this is our base over here. We have little diamonds for various points of interest that we can check out. Hunting area here. And then, yeah, we've got some enemy sites here. These, I think they're called totems, and then these are the actual strongholds over here. Uh, so we may go and check that out. I would feel much better if I had a better weapon first. That's some more grub root. Okay. Fiber. Polstice, that's for healing when we rest. And some more grub root. Okay. And that's good, because the grub root can be converted into fiber as well. Oh, what's back here? Looks like there's a little bit more loot. And we got a... St ah! Okay, we're going to go up there. Up those stairs. Oh, jeez! Are you? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if he was frozen to death. I've seen... Oh! Okay, so a couple of notes. One... Sometimes those enemies are actually frozen in, like, a block of ice. And I don't know if that was someone who was just frozen or not, but no, he was just sleeping until I grabbed the loot. And I was going to say, that's a spitter. Spitters are really easy to fight, really trivial. Except every now and again, they just decide to self-destruct instead. And I'm really bad about running away from that. I'm terrible at the combat in this game and other games like this. So I apologize for that now. And we're going to go into a graveyard here. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Lots of loot up there, which is nice. There might be some over here as well. Oh, we definitely got an enemy. Okay, that's gonna be... Oh, there's more than one of them. Spi spitters! Oh, there's three of them. Spitters are really easy to fight... ...when they actually fight and don't just self-destruct, but also when they're solo. Now, the... I gotta be really careful with my stamina bar here. Spitters don't melee, but they do go and drop those little booger piles on the ground. And they explode after a second, so you've got to be a little bit aware of your surroundings. Now, if you're just fighting one, the reason they're so easy is you can just pace it with your stamina to sort of keep them hit like hit lock. Every time they sort of pull back to spit at you, you can just whack them once. Just be careful if they decide to self-destruct, because... Then you explode and take a bunch of damage, like I keep doing. Put the torch away. Um, 
Yeah, we need to rest so that we can heal and use some of these postuses. Okay, there's a little bit of lootables over here. I'm also cold, so yeah, campfire would be excellent. Oh, good amount of loot and some stairs up. If I can, I'd rather do a campfire in a shelter. Fiber and grub root. But I may have to do one in place here, especially since I'm so hurt. I like how you have to shatter the ice on... Ooh, more campfire. Good. You gotta shatter the ice on the chest to be able to open it. Alright, I'm gonna do a campfire where I am. Craft that. We've actually got enough to craft an axe. Yes. I don't know if I'll have enough left to craft a bow after this. So pristine wood. Most of the wood you find in the world is corrupted. Some of it you can still use for camp for firewood, but a lot of times you can't. So yeah, I have no more pristine wood to build anymore uh, to build the bow, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the axe, which I think does more damage than the um, than the torch. Lie down and dream of blazing flames. All right. Well. I would like to place the campfire. Oh, I see it's red there. It's a little hard to see with the light. Do I still have it? Okay. There. Thank you. So, there's other things you can craft at a fire, because you can cook with a fire. Although, I'm thinking about using the grub weed for more fiber. Let's eat what I've got. Yeah, I'm actually okay food-wise. We're warming up a little, which is nice. I'm not sleepy, I'm not tired, so I don't need to actually rest. Any chance I could make myself some clothing? No, we don't have anywhere near what we need for any of this. I could chop the pristine wood into firewood, but I think it's way too valuable. So what I'm going to try to do is hang out by the fire a little bit to get rid of the cold so that we can proceed. This is really not the ideal place, but what can you do? Is this melting the snow? Oh my, I didn't even notice it's pushing that back. Oh, that's cool! I hadn't noticed that before. I'm going to stand on the fire. Fire damage is not a thing. It doesn't matter where I am. It's 15 degrees regardless. So we're slightly less cold than we were. And you can see it tick down. I don't want to wait too long here. Because I'll just get hungry and tired. And it doesn't feel like good video. But I got my axe now. Good. The axe can be used to chop down trees, which is also going to be Alright, let's go upstairs. Did I loot that? Way. I looted this. Okay. So, we're going further into the graveyard. I mean, this has never worked out badly for anyone, so I'm sure we're going to be okay as well. Alright, let's just keep heading upwards. Oh, hello. I see you. Don't try to hide. Okay, that... Oh, don't, don't it! Ah, oh, I thought I could kill him before he exploded! See, I just have to, I have to learn to, you know, actually roll away from these guys. I'm so bad at that. I'm going to come over here and die. I just know I am. Why, why am I running up here then? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. All right. So you can't, um, Something like a poultice and whatever is only used to heal you while you rest. You know what then? Let me run back to the campfire. And I will actually rest for a couple hours there. So the poultice can oh, kick in and heal me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is my fire still going on? It is. Hopefully no one followed me down here. That would be really awkward. Let's try it. So, we're going to rest for a couple of hours. Pulses will kick in. It's not going to heal us that much, as you can see, but at least it's some. And oh, I did get fallen down. Ah! I can't see! Bam. Don't explode, please. I can't deal with you exploding buggers. All right, good. You just died. Now, sometimes they do drop loot. Speaking of things that sometimes drop things... Uh, pay no attention to the giant flying, uh, orb. Death is a long See? Stuff falls down. 
but it's not always good stuff. Sometimes it's loot that you can scavenge, and sometimes it's more bad guys. All right. Well, I'm somehow not dead yet, which is honestly kind of a miracle for me. I think we're going to go into here. I kind of feel like I want to make sure that anyone who wants to kind of aggro on me from outside has done so already. Oh, hello. See? Exactly like that. And yeah, the axe is definitely doing more damage. You can also right-click for a heart attack. Um, it tends to knock people down, which is very nice. Uh, but I think it always uses up all your stamina, so... And for the spitters, I just find it so much safer to just engage in this way, unless they decide to explode. Now, there's no way, right, that there's no one that jumps up on me in here. Right? So I think there's a dude sitting idle over there. They're probably going to trigger as soon as I open that those chests over there. Firewood, good. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, they're just dormant. Oh, that's not going to be good. There we go. Oh, no! Stop! God damn it! No! Oh! No, no, no! You're not a spitter! Can I kill you before you hit me? No! I could have tried parrying, but... Well, that was, uh, short. That's, that's what I get for taking too many risks there. So, I've already used one of my limited lives. So, we are back... And another flame has extinguished itself. This is the degree of competence that you can expect from me playing this game. But it is challenging. I, I am, I admittedly, very poor at the combat. But it is fairly challenging. Uh, well, at least we're not hungry and we're not cold. We do still have all of our inventory. There's that going for us as well. Um, I would love to go back there because that area is almost... I should have just backed up completely. And, and what? I mean, it's not like I had the healing stuff. Come back and sleep for a very long time. I also don't have much in the way of food. Now, one of the things I can do, since I do have an axe, I could go and chop down another tree or two over here and get ourselves a little bit of um, maybe some pristine wood. Wish those, there's got to be... I don't know what the mechanic is with the people who keep exploding. I'm betting there's something and that it is avoidable. I just don't know what it is yet. Wasting your time on my knees. Okay. All right. So this logging area, I could, if I hit tab here, I've actually got the ability to assign someone if I had a follower, but I don't have that yet. But these are pretty pristine trees. So yeah, I was going to say, I can chop this timber uh move out of the way firewood one pristine wood that's it and some tainted wood hmm can be processed to firewood by a follower with the wood cutting skill well i guess i'll take everything for now now does anyone remember where i died I should have put a pin on the map. I feel like it was over here, though. So, let me do that. Now, I did get a pristine wood. Can I make a bow? You need a fiber. Well, I can do that. I can turn one grub root into fiber. And then turn you into a bow. And I have I picked up some arrows? I feel like I did. But I might just be imagining things. It's also handy to make this little pouch over here for more inventory space. I did pick up arrows. Excellent. We'll equip the bow. Equip some arrows. arrows so we still have one. this. One. One. And now we have this. One. All right. Hunting, hunting, hunting. So there was a hunting area over here. Oh, are you seriously sending me another blizzard? Come on, man. Well... What I might do, I could run home, but I feel 
I'm pretty sure there's a shelter out this way. Now, I could shoot him with arrows, but I don't have much of those arrows right now, so I'm gonna hold off. This is vengeance for all your brothers who like to explode in my face. Alright. You're not you're still not dropping any loot, right? No. Okay, yeah, you see, if you look on the compass, you see the little pin, the little blue dot? That means there's a shelter off that way, so I am indeed going in the right direction. I was pretty sure that there was a shelter. Also, some healing tonics. Yes, please. Now, they still only heal you while you're resting. That's some deep snow. Die. Die. But I think they heal faster than just a focus. Uh, I certainly take a lot more ingredients to craft. Get some more primitive arrows. All right, stay down. Uh, where's that shelter? Over there. Across the bridge. But yeah, we can take out some of those totems as well. We get a lot of eldritch essences from blowing those things up. Um, no, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Notice the car in the tree. I know, we have a lot of hyperthermia going on. Uh, I think that's a box canyon, so I'm going to go around here. It will mean having to fight a spitter. Boom. And heavy attack to finish. There we go. Oh, that is some deep snow. Where's that shelter? Shelter, shelter, shelter. Over this way. Campfire will warm me up. I know, and yeah, I'm tragically cold here. My max HP is going to start dropping down even more than it already has. Um, there's some bad stuff over there. Let's try to avoid the bad stuff. Where's the shelter? Can I get up here? Yes, good. Oh, and that's the logging camp. That is very important. Do you all just move on top of me? That see, feels like a bad sign. And yeah, my max hit points are dropping. Let's drop the primitive arrows, some more firewood here. We'll get inside this shelter. And if I can make a campfire, I can put it in the bin and really warm up the campfire. So let's make this real quick. Oh, there we go. Woo! So it still took a little bit of max HP damage, which definitely sucks. But we're gonna warm up. Hunting arrows. Nice. I don't know what the efficiency uh, comparison is, but I feel like I should just equip the hunting arrows, even though. Ah, uh, there's only one, so one shot, and then I'll have to change my stuff. Thanks, uh, thanks, Inner Voice. Thanks, Jimmy. I really appreciate your your encouragement here. Wow, even indoors here, it's still only 16 degrees, because it is a proper blizzard out there. I suppose I should probably just sit and, like, wait it out. Like, actually, like, rest for an hour or two. Do I have any meals? Any food on me? I do, because I'm a little hungry. So I will eat you. Well, I could make some more healing poultices as well. But yeah, let me just go. I don't actually need sleep. I'm not tired. Let's just rest an hour and see if this blizzard will have passed by then. Uh, I feel like the answer is no, it's only gotten worse. In fact, it is. And it's now 9 Get degrees in here. I'll crush it and you both. 9 degrees is what I feel as well. Remember, that's not the air temperature. Oh, that is terrible. Okay, let's, um, let's wait two more hours. Because clearly the blizzard got worse rather than better, so... If that was the peak, what are we looking at now? Because if I go outside... It's how cold is it? It's, yeah, in the negatives. And again, that's how I feel. That's really bad. Even indoors... Oh! It's now up to 25. Okay, it might be easing off. I still have... You can see my cold meter is still not all the way healed here, but... 
I think we're all right. Okay, well, you know what? Since we've got a little bit of shelter, this seems like an excellent place for us to put in a temporary little cut. Next episode, what I'm really going to want to do is... So right over here somewhere, right over here somewhere is this logging camp. It actually might be across the river. It might be one of those. Just in case I kind of forget, I'm going to put a map marker here. Or not if I forget. If I die, I can still run over here to this map marker. Um, and this logging camp is going to be very important because there's... Uh, I know this much... There's going to be a friend there for us. Well, friend, I should put in air quotes. Whew. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.